my view of the north is clear. Blisters beating the heat under the van. Tangled around the tire as usual. I have almost no cell service out here, but I've got great internet, thanks to Starlink. I want to show you a little something, a little different that I've done here that goes against some of the conventional wisdom you read on the internet. Since I didn't want to detach my trailer, I would just put Dishy on the ground next to it with the standard X space that comes with it. You might notice there's a big hill off to this side and well, there's kind of a van on this side, but I'm still getting a fairly decent speed with Starlink. My upload speed isn't the greatest, but it was still good enough to upload my last YouTube video pretty quick in maybe half an hour or so. Most of that time I spent just editing the description and the tags and all that good stuff. So still faster than a hotspot. And here's why it works. This is my view of the north. The van is to the east and the hill is to the west. But my view of the north is clear. So I'm literally just shooting this gap straight behind me between the van and the hill and I have a perfect Starlink connection. Even the check for obstructions portion of the app says so. So this little secluded pull-off, not even a campsite, this little pull-off here in Idaho, you might call it my own private Idaho. Even with some terrain and the vehicle right next to it, it's still a great place to get hooked up. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Conventional wisdom will say that you have to have a perfectly clear sky for Starlink, and that's simply not true. You do need a clear view of the north that way and i have that so as long as you choose a place to set up your starlink antenna that has a clear view even if it's on the ground like i have mine right now normally it's 10 feet in the air mine's right on the ground and it's working perfectly so as long as you have a clear view of the north you should be in good shape